Hi guys, welcome to my channel, hope you're doing well. So Libra, this reading will be for you if you have any Libra placements or if you're dealing with a Libra. So um, the air signs today, so I'm doing the, the readings in elements. So air signs, Aquarius I've just done, you guys and then Gemini. Now Aquarius, the stories that are coming out this week, Libra. Wow. Okay, let me just say, if you're dealing with a... I don't know why I have to tell you this, guys, but if you're dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius, you need, or you have those placements, you need to look at that. Like, I don't know why I have to tell you guys that, but yeah, there's some, some of you guys are dealing with those people, but look, look, check out those readings, yeah, guys? Okay, Libra, so I feel to use a hidden truth for you guys. I was using tarot. I'm going to use the tarot as well, but something said use the hidden truth for you guys. So a lot of truths are coming out this week, say the least. Um, so he, oh, Libra, we have. I'm starting to understand our connection, okay. And we have just being near you is intoxicating. Very strong connection here, okay. Some of you guys might be might have been questioning you or this person. You can flip the role, so okay. This could be a person thinking this way. I just had deja vu. Um, you or this person feeling this way where it's like trying to understand what's the purpose of this connection where is it going why do I feel this way why do I feel drawn to this person what is it what haven't I learnt what am I you know okay some there's something about when you're with this person it's like I'm getting um, a lot of um, electric electric electrifying why am I getting um, that scene from Greece um oh that's ridiculous but anyways um this this is person in your life right now libra that you are just drawn to and they're drawn to you too you're drawn to each other all right please tell me more about uh libra take some more of these cards and then i'll look into what the tarot is saying we have i don't react when people mention you so some of you guys, you could be trying to get over uh, this person that's come out in your reading, or this could be how um, a person is feeling towards a Libra, okay? They could even be saying, look, I don't want to speak about um, Libra, or or you're saying to, to people, I don't want to speak about them, I'm trying to move on, okay? Someone's trying to find out, say for example, you're dating somebody new, they could be saying, how do you feel about so-and-so, and someone's trying to keep it cool, okay for me to say trying to keep it cool someone still definitely has feelings here okay we have the timing just wasn't right for us okay whether it be like um clearly you and this person wasn't on the same page didn't want the same things okay could have went around in circles okay a lot of confusion around this connection a lot of confusion around this connection I feel you even though we are apart and I will wait for a sign from you. Per Libra, this person still thinks about you, okay? This person is, they do still think about you. Where you guys are at right now, I feel like even if you are with this person, which I feel like a lot of you guys are not, okay? Or you could, have, you could be going through some kind of separation, whether it's divorce or just splitting up from somebody that you've had a long-term relationship with. Um you're still you're still in their heart okay you're still in their heart but the timing just wasn't right okay i feel like for a lot of you libras you are really trying to move on from this some of you guys you feel like this connection wasn't going anywhere or they weren't the right person for you okay but i will wait for a sign from you so some some of you libras may actually be um deep down you may think Do you know what i kind of that sign could be like okay for some of you guys you know hoping to get back together or just whatever okay some kind it could be clarity as well all right let's see what tarot says for you guys okay let's see what the tarot is saying for you libra somebody's hesitant as well i'm getting I just heard hesitant Somebody's quite hesitant to reach out 
Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, wow, Five of Swords. Okay, I can see why somebody's hesitant. So let's speak on this first. Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Five of Swords, yeah? So somebody's actually saying, do you know what? I've got to this point in my life now where I feel like this is um, for a lot of uh, Libras who have separated from this person or are thinking of separating from this person. Okay, just got to that and it's like, it's like overlooking like what the future could be holding okay how things could be in the future now i'm actually seeing this as somebody's thoughts rather than any kind of action okay now i'm feeling like some of you guys are thinking well i wonder if i give a bit more of myself i wonder if then that's what it will take to get in a relationship or if they give a bit more balanced it out a bit look we have we have the scales there as well we have the scales there as well. So there's your energy. Yeah, so something's like, I wonder if I balance these scales out, meaning give more or if they give more or someone's more open, then this relationship could continue. But some there's something about words that have been said here with the five of swords, something that's really upset somebody. I am getting somebody saying something, Libra. Either you've said this or they've said this or you could have both said this to each other. Um, just things that were very hurtful and unnecessary is what I'm hearing as well. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, somebody was, woo, somebody was very harsh with their words and a straight face where they said it to. The Tower. Ooh, someone said something where it really, so, someone, someone needs to watch the things that they're saying. I'm going to be real. Someone needs to be careful of how they are um using their words okay especially if if you guys are hoping do you know what regardless i feel like even if you are getting back with somebody or not just be careful of the words that you're speaking and if somebody has let me see two of swords i thought it's something to do with um being confused where this connection is going okay i do feel like it's a bit like a roundabout just going round and round or a hamster wheel is going round the three of pentacles there there could be some kind of um, decision to make about another person as well there may be a third party interference okay love triangle yeah nine of cups and the hierophant i okay this is interesting for some of you guys yeah it's something about feeling good within yourself in the relationship and not not um being codependent or not being um yes lean on somebody to feel good in a connection like yes of course somebody's you know a connection should um make you feel happy but at the same time you have to be happy before you even enter that relationship that nine of cups energy like i'm good by myself you know i'm happy not that i don't want anybody but i myself i make myself happy so somebody could have been looking for happiness in another person when they really should have been looking for for that within themselves we have here the world. Some of you guys could have really ended this. this. This conversation, these words that were spoken that were quite harsh, that could have really said, Do you know what, that is it, that's done, I can't go back. Or they can't come back. Judgment. Yeah, someone's definitely um, calling someone out. King of Swords and Judgment. Someone's saying, look, you've done this, you've done that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this could be both ways. The Queen of Cups. There's still love there, Libra. The Ace of Swords, this has been spoken. The world, the words I love you has still been spoken. It's, it could be, I love you, but look, all this chaos, I can't. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's more focused on their money here, on their pentacles, on their coins. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's saying that someone needs to work on themselves a bit more as well before they get into a connection okay the emperor of the world and the five of swords okay so someone needs to take more control over their words over their thinking in order to have a um, healthy new start all right someone has to control their emotions have to control their their words okay i'm not sure who this is so take it how it resonates yeah 
King of Pentacles, Judgment and King of Swords. Somebody could have been so focused on their money and felt left out, Libra, okay? Left out of this connection, whether it's you're working hard or this person working hard. There's something to do with somebody being cold and working on, um, just thinking about money, making money, okay? And the last card is Five of Pentacles. Someone's trying to come out of poverty here. I'm also getting somebody, I'm getting love doesn't hit, live here anymore. Okay, okay, some of you guys could have said, oh, you know, I loved you, but, okay, so love doesn't, woo. Or I don't, I'm not sure if I'm predicting something or this is something that's already happened, but, all right, guys, I hope you got a message out of that. No, let me just, let me just pick um, some advice. Advice for Libra, please. Advice for Libra. Nine of Wands, stand your ground, Libra. Devil, okay. Stand your ground, avoid toxic behaviour. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Devil. And the Knight of Swords, yeah, avoid toxic behaviour. Don't rush towards toxic or or that kind of... Some, some, somebody's got um, addictions here as well. Somebody could drink... Um, so some kind of addiction. Some of you guys feel like you have a soul tie with this person as well, okay? Like, if you say something, mean it. Whether it's a Libra or the Cross Watcher, okay? Like, you know, like, stand your ground... Okay, anyways, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.